Welcome to our channel, today we are going to explore failed aviation designs in history. The McDonnell XF-85 Goblin was a small experimental aircraft developed in the late 1940s as a parasite fighter for the United States Air Force. It was designed to be carried inside a B-36 Peacemaker bomber and launched in mid-air to provide defense against attacking enemy fighters. The idea was that the XF-85 would act as a fighter escort for the bomber, engaging enemy fighters and then returning to the bomber for reattachment. However, the XF-85 suffered from a number of design flaws and limitations that ultimately led to its failure. One major issue was its short range and limited endurance, which would have made it difficult to carry out its intended mission. It also had poor handling characteristics and was difficult to fly, especially in turbulent conditions. Another problem was the difficulty of the mid-air retrieval system, which involved a retractable hook on the top of the XF-85 that would latch onto a trapeze extended from the bomber's bomb bay. It was uncertain whether it would be reliable enough to work in practice. Finally, by the time the XF-85 was developed and ready for testing, advances in aircraft design and technology had rendered the concept of a fighter escort obsolete. The introduction of long-range fighter aircraft, such as the North American F-86 Sabre, meant that bombers could be escorted by fighters capable of flying the entire mission with them, rather than needing a separate escort that had to be carried in the bomber's bomb bay. The XF-85's unique hook-on system was another source of trouble. This system was supposed to allow the Goblin to attach to the B-36 Peacemaker and be carried along for the ride. However, the hook-on process was complex and time-consuming and the Goblin had to be maneuvered into position by the bomber's crew. This made it difficult to use the XF-85 in real-world combat situations, where speed and agility are essential. In the end, only two prototypes of the XF-85 were ever built, and the program was cancelled in 1949 after a series of test flights revealed numerous issues and limitations. Despite its failure, the XF-85 remains an interesting and unique aircraft design and its development contributed to advances in aviation technology and mid-air retrieval systems.